when I saw this, when I saw the picture, I thought, what the hell is that thing? And, and you're saying it's actually called a, a mop? It's called a mop, yes. Right. It, the class has been around for quite a number of years, uh, but not in this form. The mop is, um, most dinghies, such as the other boats around here, are designed to a set set of specifications. They can be a yeah. certain length, certain size, certain weight, etc. The moth class, the rules allow the class to develop, to constantly evolve in its shape, size, etc. And what happened about uh, 10 years ago is that they started fitting hydrofoils to the hull of the boat. A hydrofoil is this thing here, right. which is basically the same as the wing of an aircraft. Yeah. And what it does, it sits underneath the hull of the boat here and effectively acts like a wing and lifts the hull out of the water. So effectively the boat flies on this wing. <laughs> uh, what? So would you actually be above, like at, at some point you'd be off the water itself or would you say you're you always... Uh, almost the length of that, the hull is almost the length of that right. out of the water. Good God. Um, what that means is that the boat can go very, very fast. Uh, what slows the boat down is the friction between the hull, this part here, and the water. By lifting that completely out of the water, there's virtually no friction. And the boat can go extremely quick. Uh, so therefore this type of boat is one of the fastest dinghies in the world. And how, how old would they be? Are they a matter of years or is it 10 it years? Just, or? It's in the last 10 years they started this evolution. Right. And this particular design has been around for about five, six years. It's relatively new. It's probably one of the more popular uh, types of this boat. Um, and would they be in? Uh, I don't know if they're used now in, in, in already in, in competition and so forth. I don't know if they, if they qualify in certain. Um, you know, yes. there's so many different kinds of boat racing, and some of them are just sort of open house where anybody can join in. I don't know if this, these guys are already in that league if they've got that advantage of the speed. Very much so. Uh, yeah. they're hugely popular worldwide. Uh, their world championship would attract hundred plus boats. Um, they, in Ireland, it, the class is relatively small. There's a big collection in Dunleary, it's probably about 12 boats in Dunleary, a few in Holt, a few in Cork, this is the only one in Greystones, so in Ireland they're relatively new. Uh, spreading reasonably quickly, one of the downsides of them is they are very very high tech, the boat is made in, almost entirely of carbon fibre, Right. it's very light but very strong material. Right. The, it needs to be made of that to allow it to fly effectively, for the foiling to work it needs to be a very very light hull. That Unfortunately, this material is very expensive. Ah. I mean, the boats are quite pricey. They're very much a young person's boat. They're very much very attractive to young people. They like the speed. What the hell are you doing at one then? <laughs> <laughs> and that is a very good question. Are you allowed in the club? <laughs> I have to be... Fake uh, ID. My, Fake ID. Myself and my colleague who bought this boat. They're made by Roy Van Manen. Right. Uh, we would definitely be the oldest boat sailors <laughs> in Ireland by a long shot. <laughs> and, well, it must be quite, you know, just when you're used to the sea and you're used to a certain speed, it must be quite sort of jittery at first when you go for it, a bit like skydiving or something. Just that sense of, oh, this is much more powerful than I'm used to. And, and just that re readjusting your set to sort of re to be able to adjust to the uh, the speed and the, and the, you know, the ability of that kind of, even the headiness, I would guess, too, of just being off the water and... Uh, I don't know, was that yeah. a little bit hard to get used it's, to? It's very hard to get used to. They're, they're yeah. a difficult boat to manage. They're quite difficult to sail. Not physically demanding, but uh, technically very difficult. Yeah, the acceleration is in incredible when you actually right. come up, rise up on the foil. Keeping it there is quite difficult. Um, you do get used to it. Well, we're getting yeah. used to it. Shall <laughs> I say. Um, I've sailed a number of very fast boats as well. This, actually, this one behind me is also right. one of mine, which ah. is also a very, very fast type of boat right um, uh, so it's, 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 it wasn't a huge step forward but the whole right. foiling concept the rising out of the water is entirely new and, and qu quite you know we are struggling with it yeah <laughs> well we have some shots of you I think struggling with it on the guide so we can <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you get yeah. <laughs> Of an evening, they'll say lots of us struggling with this boat. So, uh, in the same way that uh, we know that, that the sports car represents a certain kind of stage in a man's life, this, this isn't a midlife crisis or anything like that. It's just a, a genuine love, I guess, of a uh, sport. You're not hitting a. You're not. A, you're, you're, you're okay, aren't you? You're happy yeah. in yourself. Oh, and, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it is. It is a, it's a, an innovative. Uh, it's very much a, an innovative kind of boat, and um, that's something that's always fascinated me. Right. Um, again, with my friend Roy, we've introduced some. We introduced a type of boat. A lot of a lot of them in the club here. We were the first one in Ireland with this, which again a very quick 
type of vessel. Um, so we like I've always been just experimenting with stuff like this. Uh, certainly, the foiling thing is something that is spreading rapidly through other classes of boat. Right. Uh, particularly in larger boats, the whole idea of foiling is being developed. Uh, the sort of premier sailing event in, in, in the world, the America's Cup, is all right. sailed in foiling catamarans. So. It's, it is kind of the way sailing is going. It's not going to be for everyone. Yeah. But if you do like speed, yes, this is this is uh, where it's at. Beyond the expense, is there any downside? I don't know if it's it's more fragile than than than, than the yeah. normal material. So yeah, it, it is yeah. more fragile. It's got it, it's not something that uh, it can you know you, you sorry it, it's uh, it, you have to be very careful with it, bringing taking it in taking yeah. it out of the water and. Um, uh, you can do a lot of damage very quickly, uh, so it, 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 it's, it does require a bit of prudence in using it. Right, one good seal could kill it. <laughs> <laughs> so I should ask then, do you think there'll be more, I guess, in, in Greystones? Is, is there a certain feeling that it's, uh, it's, it's beginning to um, attract attention and that uh, others will follow? I, I, yeah, look, uh, uh, it's certainly, I know all the young, a lot of young people in the club are looking at it very enviously. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket, <laughs> that's the way to go. Well, it is, it is very much. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, probably beyond the financial ability of many of them. Are, um, but, yeah, long term, I think it's a class that will definitely uh, take off. Um, Irish sailing tends to be a bit conservative. New designs are slow to get... No, to, to take off. No, I don't believe that. I don't <laughs> I'm believe afraid that. So. No, that no, no. You're lying to me now. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when you when you keep hinting at the expense, are we talking about like ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand? I don't know what sort of. Uh, this boat would cost about fourteen thousand. Holy uh, moly! Second yeah. hand. Right, uh, right. So second they're hand. Not, they're not cheap. Um, right. Whereas you know you can buy some of these things looking around here would be you'd be talking of sort of yeah. fifteen hundred to three thousand. So that's that's right. the differential. Um, suddenly, no, suddenly all the security looks very wise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't recommend anyone stealing it because you're not going to be able to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they just leap off a building, try something with it, who knows. But well done. It's, it, I just saw you out there and I saw the uh, photographs and it just looks spectacular. It looks amazing. It, it, it did seem, you know, it's halfway between sailing and flying. You know, it just seems to be, a, 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 I would imagine, a beautiful feeling. It is a fantastic feeling. It's, it's, it's very, it's great. It's so you're getting over the midlife crisis now then, you're, you're feeling yeah. good man. <laughs>